Not many teams are looking as exciting as Aston Villa for the upcoming Premier League season. With new signings, new manager and a new set of ambitions, the club is on a good path. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys everything you need to know about Aston Villa. So, Aston Villa have already made five signings this season. That's Robin Olsen as a backup keeper for 3.5 million, the center back Diego Carlos from Sevilla for 31 million, a backup left back in Ludwig Augustinsson on loan from Sevilla, Bubakar Kamara from Marseille on a free transfer, and they have completed the loan move for Philippe Coutinho for 20 million. Bro, I don't know how we completed half of these signings, man. Right, so Diego Carlos, yeah? So Diego Carlos, he came in from Sevilla for 31 million. He has loads of, you know, Champions League experience, Europa League experience. He won the Europa League with Sevilla. He's a great ball playing center back, which we kind of lacked with Mings. You could see his long balls are not as good as Diego Carlos. But Diego Carlos can make some mistakes sometimes, he's made 3 errors led to a shot and 3 errors led to goal and he's committed 2 penalties. You know he's kind of a hothead, he's had 2 yellow cards and 2 red cards, so that could be a bad thing. But yeah overall I'm really excited by Diego Carlos, I think he's a good player, really strong, proper centre back and I think he'll do a job for us. Diego Carlos in the squad really challenges that centre back position. We already have Ezri Konsa, Callum Chambers and Courtney Hawes all challenging for that centre back spot. I think it will be really interesting to see who Steven Gerrard picks for that final spot. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. So Robin Olsen and Ludwig Augustinsson, because they're both squad players, I'm just going to go for a quick rundown. So Robin Olsen is 32 years old, going to play a backup goalkeeper for Emmy Martinez. Robin Olsen, he's, he's pro. Robin Olsen, he's been around the block, you know. He's been at Malmo, Pauk, Copenhagen, Roma, Everton, Sheffield, Cagliari, and now at uh, Aston Villa. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's a good backup, you know. He, play, he plays well for Sweden, really well. He's uh, played well in that one game against City. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you need to know about Robin Olsen. Right, now for Ludwig Augustinsson, he is 28 years old, uh, plays as a left back, gonna be back up for Luca Dean. Uh, he's been at Copenhagen as well, Werder Bremen, Sevilla and now at Aston Villa. He likes to attack, but you know, it's not much to, there's not much to say about him. He's, uh, he's a really good backup and he played backup at Sevilla. Right, Bubakar Kamara then. This one, this one I think is really exciting, you know, because he's only 22 years old and he's already got three caps for France. I think this guy's got really good potential. He's been at Marseille for his entire career up until this point. Uh, yeah, he's just really good defensively. I think this guy's, a, this guy's a guy to look out for. I'm interested to see how he does in the Premier League. You know, it's very different from Liga, uh, more challenging, more difficult. Uh, but I think this guy can do something. I think he's got really good potential and I think he's really good on a free transfer as well. Kamara also has a bunch of European experience. He's played in Champions League, Europa League and Conference League. And he can bring a lot of that into the squad. Right, so the final signing, Philippe Coutinho. Since he's not really a new signing, I'm just going to go like brief over this. So everyone knows Philippe Coutinho from Barcelona played at Bayern, played at Liverpool. He was worth 145 million pounds at one point. So last season he played 19 games, scored five goals and three assists. He came in January as most of you know, and he's just a great player. To just look at him, his debut, he's, yeah, he's just so smooth on the ball. If he just keeps doing what he did last season, I think he will be great. Chance. And Coutinho shot is saved. Now let's move on to the main man, Steven Gerrard. Yeah, of course. Right, so let's talk about Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard is a fairly young manager. He's only 41 years old. He's previously managed the Liverpool uh, youth teams and the Rangers. And now he's at Villa, obviously. So let's quickly talk about Steven Gerrard's tactics. I'm going to show you two formations that Steven Gerrard likes to use. Uh, this one that I'm showing right now is a 4-3-1-2 with two strikers up top and the full backs providing width. Um, but he also likes the 
2-1 with only one striker and two cams like Bondia and uh, Coutinho. He usually sticks to these two or a 4-3-3 which is very similar. He doesn't usually switch up his tactics, he likes what he likes and he sticks to that. So that's a very brief explaining of Steven Gerrard's tactics. If you do want to know more you can leave a comment down below and I'll make a more in-depth tactic analysis on Steven Gerrard. Right, so for the final segment of this video, I'm gonna go into my expectations for Aston Villa in the upcoming Premier League season. Right, so I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, you know, top seven, get Europa League, get Conference League for next season. But realistically, I don't know if this squad is ready to get Conference League or Europa League this season. I just think that this squad needs one season to gel together and then the next season they can push for a Conference League spot. So I'm just gonna say it, my prediction for Aston Villa next season is around that 9th, 8th, 10th spot. I just want to be above 10th spot, you know, be on that half of the table and, you know, anything beyond that point is a positive. 10th is alright, 9th will be better, 8th, and then if we get 7th, that will be incredible. Uh, I also want a little cup run in the Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup, I want to see how we can do in that. But overall, I just want to see improvement, good football on the pitch, and for young players to develop, and hopefully 2024 it will be that we can qualify for Conference League football or Europa League football. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.